All right, so as of late, um, I've been playing Star Citizen, which requires you to fly a ship. And as you can see, I have a dual joystick set up. And the problem I'm having is that as I'm trying to fly my ship, I, you can see that the base moves as I'm trying to move around here with this side. Now let me go to the other side. On this side, it's the same issue. Right? As you're moving around, your base moves, and it's not, it's not very, very good. Um, the other thing that you need to do for this game is you do require the, the use of your mouse and your keyboard. And now, what I've found is that transitioning between here and here, it's pretty easy. However, you don't have the ability to be comfortable when, when you're doing that. So this whole setup is going to change. And um, I'll go through that process with you and what you need. So let's get started. Your setup might be a little bit different than my setup. As you can see, I have a desk here that it, it's probably nothing you'll find on the market. I just made it myself out of two by fours. But um, what I'm planning to do is this. So as you saw me talk, you have this up here on your desk. And as you're moving it around, the base moves around as you move it around. So what I want to do is I want to set this up down here so that as I'm flying, I can just put my hands down here. This will have a stable base and you'll be able to move it around. doesn't make much sense now, but as we go through the video, you'll see what I'm talking about. So once you're done playing this particular game, there'll be like a latch configuration where you can store these this way. So this one, as you're playing, it'll be here. But when you stop playing, you can move it up this way and just store it there. And then when you fire the game back up, you bring it down. Same thing on the other side. On this side, you have this come over here. And then once you're done playing, um, you'll store it this way. So it'll do something like this. Anyway, and then in the middle here, you'll have your chair. You know, you can move in and out. So it won't impede anything here. So that's the basic plan of the setup. Luckily, these joysticks on the base of them, they have um, an area where you can put two bolts, right? Otherwise, we would have to modify this. But it's nice that they give that option. So once, once we get a wooden base, and slap it on here, we'll drill a couple of holes so that we can run two bolts through there. Um, and hopefully this goes in. We'll screw these on here. And this is what is going to make our base stable. So we'll have a wooden piece right here and we'll bolt this, we'll bolt this on. So now Let's start this off. We have here our plywood that we bought, and I think this is a two by two. It was seven dollars. It's very cheap. So you can see two feet by another two feet. Okay, great. So now what we want to do is we want to position our joysticks kind of where we want them. This whole thing is going to be cut. So we have one here and the other one over here. These are probably not the correct positioning that they're going to go in, but it gives us an idea of where they're located. Okay, so that's kind of what we want. Good. We know they fit and we know that this plywood needs to be cut. So now what I'll do is I'll cut this to one foot that way, one foot this way, and then this thing I'll kind of center within that. So I'm going to go do that now. So we are back here, and the pieces have been cut. Let's get them over here. Here's one side, here's the other side. So again, you know, one joystick will go in one, the other one will go in the other one. We'll drill holes underneath and tighten them up. So the idea 
is that as you're playing, so you'll have something like this, right? You'll have like this tray here where you can bring your hands down and you can manipulate the joystick. And then when you're done, this will flip up and it'll be away from your view. Oops, got something else there. So anyway, that's the idea. We'll come here, we'll flip over this way. When you need them, you'll flip this way. When you don't need them, flip them up. So that's the idea. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna need like a two by four or something this way so that I can do this motion, right? So, something like this is gonna have to get installed for support and then there'll be a piece of support down here for when, for when, the, when the thing comes down and it'll rest on there. Um, potentially something like this, but once we start messing around with this, we'll see how it is. So uh, I'm gonna get to it. All right, so what I've done here is I've set my chair um, kind of where I'm gonna be sitting at. So now I wanna kind of place this here and just get a feel for the height and see if this is where I want to be or not. And to me it seems fine. Let's see. Maybe move this back a bit. Yeah, this, this seems great to me. Okay. I'm gonna leave it here, I think. This is a good height. Now I need to measure from the top of here to down here what that distance is, and I'll do the same on the other side. I wanna mention here that the distance between the right side of the board and the left side of the board is one foot. So you need to be making sure that the top of, of the desk there to the surface of that board is at least one foot. Otherwise, when you flip it up, it won't clear. You, you won't be able to flip it. So just make sure before installing that you measure twice. I'll start putting the two by four underneath here for support and below here for some support as well. And uh, hopefully that works. Hopefully it's all straight. Okay, let's try it. What does that say? Something like 13, 13 inches maybe. I think 13 inches is gonna be good. Let's try that. That's 11. Let's call that a foot. So, a foot is in here. So here we have a foot right here. And since I know this is a measurement, so it's gonna be a foot. Let's do that. Now that these two should be about the same height. And what we wanna do is we wanna have a level, um, level to make sure that this is level. Otherwise, we're gonna have a wonky platform. All right, so now let's check for level. So one of the marks is right here. I don't know if you can tell, but then the other one is right here. So we're gonna try, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna extend those marks over just a tad. So let's see, let's make this be straight. Let's make this, make that one straight. Okay, so we're good. So now we wanna make sure that this one and this one match up. And they're straight, and here they are not straight. So this one needs to be dropped just a bit, and then that will be straight right there. Everything checked. Okay, gonna make that one there. Let's check again. Now it's straight. Okay, now we're going to go from this line to the bottom line. And we're going to go to the back line here. So those are straight, this is in the middle. That's straight line right there. Now we're going to up. Boom, that's going to be straight right there. And that's perfect. So up next, we've got to get something that goes from here to there. Like a two by four or something. I wanted to make this the cheapest possible, so I went with, uh, I believe, a one by three, and it was like three or four dollars, I want to say. Um, but anyway, basically what we want to do is put something on here that we can attach to here and to back there, over here somewhere. So some something like that. And basically what that'll allow us to do is that the platform, it'll be able to go like this. 
that's what that'll allow us to do. Uh, so we're going to mount some hinges on this side and on, on the bottom here so that we can do this. That's what we're looking for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from here to there, do the same on the other side, go cut my pieces and then bring them back and mount them here. So let's see, let's do that. We've got our little shelf here, essentially a shelf and we'll have our joystick somewhere in here right so that's great and so once we're using it it'll be here we can use it whatever and once we're done we'll simply move this up and it'll stow away back here somewhere so what we need to do is we need to put some hinges in here I don't know if you can see it but some hinges in here so we'll put some hinges there a couple of them and another thing that I want to do is put something like not not a 2x4 uh, more like a 1x3 somewhere in here so that when this comes down it'll lock it in place right so it'll it'll be attached to the platform here it'll come down and it'll it'll stop right there so getting down to business here so we've got our hinges and this is what's going to go mounted on the side here and up here is going to be the platform and it'll just do it'll just do that right so that's all it's going to be doing and so here's my platform this will go on the edge here and again it'll just open up like this close open and so then we're gonna have this that'll be on the edge here for additional support and I'll go ahead and install this and then show you what it looks like over there once it's installed it looks like we've got the majority of the build already complete um, there was a small modification made but basically we have our platform here this is a drill, but imagine this is a joystick. So we would place our joystick about there, and as we're playing, we're moving the joystick around, we're playing around. And once we're done, we'll flip this up. Let me just take that out. But we'll flip this up, and we'll lock it in place right there, so it's out of the way, and you know your feet can be in this area. So, the modification that was made was this block right here. This block used to be here and it was just kind of uh, there for support. But what I added were these two chunks of wood right here so that when it bends over these two are able to catch the platform. So the platform comes down, boom. Right here is where it gets to catch. So now it stays, and that's your support. These two are your supports. So now we're going to have to figure out a way to lock this thing in place when it's up. So let's take a look at that real quick. What we have to do here is right now we have this operation where this works properly now it stays here our joysticks are going to be about right here right on top of this so this will come up like this so now what we need to do is we need to lock it in this upright position so to do that we're going to be using some some hooks so uh, I don't know if you can see that but these are just gate hooks so we'll be using some of these uh, I've got several sizes anywhere from about an inch to two and a half inches and so basically I'll, I'll open this one so I think that's what we're going to be using there's an eye and then there's like there's a hook so you know wherever you are you just hook this on here and whatever it is that you're trying to hold is not going anywhere so so here we're gonna use that so we're gonna have one of these here 
the other one is going to go on the leg there and it's just going to hook on something like that and it's just going to stay there so it'll be pretty easy alrighty so here we are the eye hook is in there so we'll just unhook it bring it down now you can have you've got your platform here you can have your joystick here and then you bring it back up and you want to lock it in and you just lock it in the with the eyeball in place with the eyeball and there you go Now we're going to figure out how to install the joystick. Alright, so according to where I set, I want to install it closest to over here. Um, that's kind of what I did on this side. But basically, we're going to install it so that when we take this back up, oh yeah, and I took the bottom side of my joystick out so that I can determine where I want it. 
and where my bolts need to be. Anyway, um, let's get rid of that. As I said, we're trying to install it here, uh, somewhere close to the meat over there. Otherwise, if you start coming this way, it gets too flimsy. And we're gonna cut, cut most of this out anyway. So, all right, so now we've got this here. We just wanna make sure that it clears all the way. And it looks like it does clear. And this should be perfectly fine when it's up there. So I think this is a good place to put it. Um, I'm gonna make some markings here. Let's see. Just want to make sure that my buttons aren't being hit. Okay, that looks like a good place. All right, so this is a good place for me. So now I just want to make sure that I mark this location. And the reason I'm marking this is because we're going to trim all the fat. So we're going to get rid of anything from here back. That way it's not in our way when we're playing around and we can move freely. All right, so next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a 45 degree angle. Uh, so this was about back here. And I'm just marking everything right now. Kinda how I want it. That was not a 45, here we go. This is a 45. Perfect. Okay, so now we know what we're doing. Okay, we're gonna take this guy out. I ended up taking the base of one of my joysticks out, which is here. And from, from the bottom, you can see here's where my bolts are. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark those locations. So here's where I want it. I'm gonna grab my pencil. And I'm just going to mark. Huh. Well, that's my dog. My dog's being angry for some reason. Alright, I'm just marking there. And what we'll do is we're going to drill some holes in there. So let's drill some holes. Try to get this thing centered. Wow, that was fast. Okay. There we go. Now I'm gonna just clean that up real quick. And then I'm gonna verify that these patterns are good. So I got my bolt. I'm just gonna throw this in here. That got my other bolt. Put her up through there. Just want to make sure this goes in here. Okay, and we're good. Now I just want to make sure this other one fits in there, and that it's good. Okay, and we got a bite. All right, so my bolts are halfway in there. I can still move this up, but on the sides, it won't move too much, so it'll be, it'll be right where I want it. Okay, so now we've set this up like this. It's going to be able to stay up here. You can see my bolts right here. And uh, now the next step is just trimming it out. We have to unhinge it, and once we unhinge it, we'll bring it to cut. So we'll get we'll get this out, we'll cut it out, we'll trim it nicely, 
and then we'll bring it back in and uh, reinstall it and then actually install the joysticks so I'll do that on one side and then I'll show the finished product so, so you can see what it looks like all right so really pumped here so this is the first one that's installed um, and as you can see you know you come down let me change the lighting here so as you can see you come down you know you can now use it however you want it's already bolted it won't move the base at least won't move anywhere um, but you can see kind of what what it'll end up looking like so you've got your right hand joystick already set up when you're done using it just pop it up lock it in place Oop, if I can do that there we go and you're good to go it's not going anywhere So, so far, it's looking pretty good. Let's give it a test run here. So there's one side. Let's get the other side. Here's the other side. And, you know, you'd be playing left hand here. Let's move this over here. So le left side is here. It moves around, it's good. This is pretty stable. It's not going anywhere. All right, now let's go to the right side. So now right side, it's also pretty stable. Everything's bolted down, so that's good. The next thing that we need to talk about is cable management. So this is the, the surface of the desk right here. Below here is where I have the joystick. So this will be the left side, and the right side's over here, obviously. But this right here is what I'm going to use to split both the left and the right side. So I'll be mounting this underneath the desk and then I'll be plugging in the USB on one side and on the other side and I'll be showing that below uh, so you can kind of see how that goes. But for now this piece is already plugged into the computer and I'll just have to go below the desk and mount it underneath the desk. So up next we've got the cable management of the joystick cables. So right now the platform is down, but as you can see here's where it goes up. So this is the cable right here for the joystick. And as it comes up and down, it can get trapped in this little crevice back here. Right? So you could potentially cut it by having it get stuck. Same thing over here. This right here is a crossbar. If it gets stuck in here, like in there somehow, and you close this, you can snap this. Um, or you can cut this rather. So what I'm gonna be using is these these little anchors here. There's like it's like speaker wire, uh, bracers or something like that. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this right on the edge right here so that no matter what, this is always going to be in this position, whether it's right here or when we flip it up, it'll still be there. So it'll never be in the way of anything. 
So I'm gonna start putting, I'm gonna start by putting this one right here. And I'm just gonna tack it in there with a hammer, a low hammer. So I'm gonna do that now. There we go. So no matter what, this guy's always going to be in that position. And that's perfect. We want to tackle the rest of the of the joystick stuff. So we're going to put it up and put it down and figure out what the maximum length is or what 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 we need for slack essentially. And it looks like if we have this much slack right here, um looks like we'll be good so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tack one of those speaker wire things right here right there and once I do I know it'll be good to go so I won't have to worry about this thing being pinched or broken or anything so I'm just gonna hammer it in alright so now it's in place it's all good to go and my cable is at least so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zip tie the rest of the cable so as you can see we've got this going to our splitter up there we've got this piece right here so I'm just gonna kinda coil this like this alright doesn't really matter I'm gonna just keep it all together Grab a zip tie and just zip tie it all together. Doesn't need to be too tight, but you know, just enough so it stays together. And then just cut the end out. There we go. So now that that's done, I'm gonna, I don't want it to, you know, break or anything, so I'm just gonna tack it again up here, uh, like that. Okay, so now the bulk of it is being held by this one up here. There's no strain, everything's good. This is up right now, the joystick is up, so I'm gonna bring it down just to see how it works. It looks like it's working perfectly fine. So now we're gonna do the same on the other side and we should be finished with the installation. On the right hand side, this is kind of what it ends up looking like. So you can see that there's a tack here and the cable is not, it's not tight. It's fairly loose. And then as you come over to the back, you can see that there's there's one here, there's one here, and then this is all coiled up. There's a zip tie right there. There's another one here, and this all leads back to the splitter. So, so as you can tell, it's it's pretty much done. Uh, the setup is complete. This is the right hand side. There's your locking mechanism. Um, so now I'm gonna go enjoy this. I hope that you guys enjoy the video, that it's informative, and, um, and I hope it helps you out. This is just my installation and how I did it, but uh, I just wanted to let you know that it's not impossible to get it, something nice and something DIY going. Uh, so I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching.